up fairly early today. Gonna head out on a Sunday club run. This time of the year is always the hardest to dress for. The temperature change between now and then like 12 o'clock is massive. So this means you'll throw all your kit on, go out for the ride, and whereas at the start of the ride you might be too cold, by the time you get to the end of the ride, you're too hot. So today, today I've gone with a winter jacket, but a short sleeve base layer. I think I'm just about, I think I'm ready to go. So going out at 8am in the winter has its positives and it has its negatives. The positives being you're home early so it keeps everyone happy and you have these awesome morning skies. And the negatives, it's freezing cold. But on this vlog we focus on the positives. It's going to be an awesome ride today. It is a beautiful day here. There's no wind, it's dry. We're going to have a great ride. Remember what I said yesterday about no traffic at the weekend? This is a fairly substantial main road. No cars, except that one. <laughs> So if you're new around here, on Sunday mornings I tend to go on, like most people do, go on a club run. Normally we do about four, four and a half hours with a cafe stop in the middle. So I've just got to the meeting point here on this bridge and no, one, no one's here. Maybe I'm the only one today. So it looks like no one else is playing out today. So I'm just heading out on my own. I'm going to head north today into the Ribble Valley whilst it's such a nice day, because why not? So I'm right in the middle of the Ribble Valley now. Check this out for a view. I love this place. And that concludes my solo Sunday club run. Great ride, no coffee stop but great ride. I've been throwing this stick for Lexi for over an hour and she's just still not tired. She just doesn't get tired. If anyone's after a hyperactive dog, let me know in the comment section down below. Found a rope swing. Just testing out the safety element. Seems good. Where is it? So in yesterday's vlog, I asked you guys for some ideas about what I can do with this space here. I've had loads of suggestions so far, keep them coming in. So far, I think my personal favorite is taking one of my old bike frames and then mounting it to the wall. I really, really like that idea. So to become a better cyclist, there's two main factors. Training and recovery, these are the two main elements which are going to make you a better cyclist. The more you train, the fitter you get, the more you recover after the training the fitter you get and the better bike rider you become. So I feel recently that I'm starting to lack this one. I'm feeling like I'm losing out on some recovery. It's no secret that the biggest chunk of our recovery comes from our sleep. That's when our body is in a state of rest, that's when testosterone is produced, and that's when we recover. So every day I come up to this room, I sit down at this desk, I open this laptop, and then I work for about three hours editing the vlog, which is normally from about 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. And when you're training every single day, going to bed at 11 p.m. 
every single day it's just not it's just not sustainable eventually it's just going to wear you down and eventually you're going to become ill so so long story short i need to start editing the vlogs earlier on i need to sit down at about 6 p.m work through to 9 p.m do what i do in the evening and be in bed by about 10. 10 is my goal every night i just wanted to vent to you guys and i figured if if i told the vlog and i committed to be more productive with editing the vlog earlier on in the day maybe i will actually do that but that is the end of the video for today, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed today, please leave a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.